Owning a cat can be a rewarding experience, but it comes with its challenges. Many new cat owners make common mistakes that can affect their cat's health, happiness, and their overall relationship. Here are 10 mistakes every new cat owner makes and how you can avoid them. Number 10, ignoring a cat's needs for mental and physical stimulation. Cats are naturally intelligent and curious creatures, so they need plenty of mental and physical activities to stay happy and healthy. Without enough stimulation, your cat will become bored and stressed, and this can even lead to unwanted behavioral problems. A common mistake is not providing enough toys or interactive play. Cats thrive on playtime, so it's important to invest in a variety of toys and rotate them to keep things interesting. Another mistake is leaving your cat alone for long periods without any stimulation. If you're out of the house a lot, consider ways to keep your cat more engaged like puzzle feeders or automated toys. Finally, many cat owners fail to create an environment that encourages exploration and play. Think about adding climbing structures, scratching posts, or other interactive materials in your home. By spending time each day playing with your cat and creating a stimulating environment, you'll help your furry friends stay active, healthy, and happy. Number nine, overfeeding or underfeeding. Overfeeding will lead to obesity, which in turn can cause a variety of health problems such as diabetes, arthritis, and heart disease while underfeeding a cat will result in malnutrition, leaving your cat weak, underweight, and susceptible to illnesses. Another common mistake many cat owners make is free feeding, where you leave the food out all day long without portion control. This can lead to overeating. It's crucial to follow dietary recommendations tailored to your specific cat's age, size, and health condition. Ignoring these guidelines can result in either overfeeding or underfeeding. Be sure to measure your cat's food according to the guidelines provided on the food packaging or, more importantly, based on your vet's recommendations. Treats should be limited to no more than 10% of your cat's daily caloric intake. It's easy to lose track of how many treats you're giving them, so be mindful of this and it can help maintain a balanced diet. Moreover, feeding a balanced diet appropriate for your cat's stage in life and health is vital. Kittens have very different nutritional requirements than senior cats, and a cat with a health condition like kidney disease will need a special diet. Always consult your vet to ensure you're meeting your cat's dietary needs. By paying attention to these details, you can help your cat maintain a healthy weight and avoid health issues associated with improper feeding. Number eight, neglecting dental health. Dental health is often overlooked, but it's crucial for your cat's overall well-being. Poor dental hygiene can lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and other health issues like kidney failure if tooth decay is left inside of a cat's mouth too long. And this next tip, even though it's recommended, I don't do it. That is brushing your cat's teeth regularly. I tried it years ago and it wasn't a pleasant experience for me or my kitten at the time. So I chose to use vet visits to have their teeth checked regularly and so far, so good. I'm lucky, my cats have had no real plaque buildup and they've been healthy, healthy teeth, healthy gums, it all looks good. But they say regular brushing, and it makes sense because it works for us, regular brushing helps prevent the buildup of plaque and tartar, which can lead to more serious dental problems. Another mistake is ignoring the signs of dental issues like bad breath or difficulty eating. These can be indicators of underlying problems that need to be addressed. Additionally, relying solely on dry food to clean your cat's teeth is not sufficient. While dry cat food can help reduce plaque, it's not a substitute for proper dental care. Brushing your cat's teeth regularly using cat-specific toothbrushes and toothpaste will certainly help you avoid dental issues. Providing dental treats and toys designed to reduce plaque and tartar can also be beneficial. Good dental hygiene not only helps your cat maintain a healthy mouth, but also contributes to their overall health and longevity. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. Have you tried it? Do you do it? If you do, do you see an improvement in your cat's teeth? Drop down in the comments section below and let's start a dialogue about it. 
<laughs> Number seven, skipping regular vet visits. Many health problems can be caught early during routine visits, which can lead to more effective treatment and better prognosis. If we hadn't caught my 19-year-old cat's hyperthyroidism early, about four years ago, I doubt she'd be here with me today. A common mistake is only taking your cat to the vet when they're visibly sick. By the time the symptoms are noticeable, the condition may be more advanced and harder to treat. Another mistake is skipping annual checkups and vaccinations. These visits are essential for preventative care, ensuring that your cat stays up to date with vaccinations and receives routine health screenings. Not addressing small health issues promptly is another pitfall. What seems like a minor issue today could develop into a serious problem if left untreated. If you notice anything unusual, consult your vet promptly. Additionally, follow your vet's recommendations for parasite control and routine screenings. Number six, not providing proper litter box maintenance. One of the easiest things of all of these tips is just simply scooping your litter box every day and it can save you and your cat so much grief. A clean, well-maintained litter box is essential for your cat's comfort and helps prevent inappropriate elimination behaviors, which can be more frustrating to manage. Cats are very particular about cleanliness, which is one of the reasons I decided to live with cats over dogs. They love clean. A dirty litter box can discourage them from using it. This might lead to them finding other, less desirable places to relieve themselves. Another mistake is using the wrong type of litter. Some cats are very particular about the texture and the scent of the litter, and if they don't like it, they might avoid using the box. Additionally, placing the litter box in a noisy or hard to reach area can make your cat uncomfortable and lead to avoidance. To ensure proper litter box maintenance, scoop the litter box every day to keep it clean and change the litter completely once a week. This routine helps maintain a fresh environment that your cat will be more willing to use. Choosing the litter that your cat prefers is also important. Experiment with different types if necessary and select one that minimizes the odor and is comfortable for your cat's paws. By maintaining a clean litter box and considering your cat's preferences, you can help prevent litter box avoidance and ensure your cat's comfort. Number five, ignoring behavioral issues. Behavioral issues can often be signs of underlying health problems or environmental stressors. Addressing these issues promptly is crucial for your cat's overall well-being. A common mistake is dismissing behavioral changes as just cat behavior. While some quirks are normal, significant changes in behavior can indicate that something is wrong. Another mistake is punishing your cat for unwanted behaviors. This can create fear and anxiety, worsening the problem rather than resolving it. Seeking professional help is important because many times these seemingly little behavioral issues ignored will worsen over time. As Barney Fife used to say, Nip it in the bud! First sign of youngsters going wrong, you got to nip it in the bud! Truer words have never been spoken. Number four, not providing enough scratching options. Cats are going to scratch. It's a huge part of who they are. Knowing this before you get your first cat can help you with the frustrations associated with them destroying your valuables. And if you're considering declawing as a quick and easy solution, well then maybe you should reconsider sharing your home with a cat. It's mutilation and it's inhumane to declaw cats. There are ways to redirect your cat scratching to places that you provide for them to scratch. But not providing enough scratching options can lead to unwanted behavior. Scratching helps them mark their territory, stretch their muscles, and keep their claws healthy. Without proper outlets for this behavior, cats may result to scratching furniture or other undesirable surfaces. Another mistake is using posts that are too short or unstable. Cats prefer tall, sturdy posts that allow them to stretch fully and scratch comfortably. Additionally, placing scratching posts in hard to reach or seldom used areas will deter a cat from using them. To avoid these problems, provide multiple sturdy scratching posts or pads in different areas of your home, especially around areas where you see them scratching. This gives your cat various options and makes it easier for them to find a suitable place. 
By providing adequate and appropriate scratching options, you can help ensure your cat's needs are met without damaging your home or mutilating their paws. Number three, not spaying or neutering. Unless you specifically want to raise kittens, not spaying or neutering your cat can lead to several problems. This procedure is critical for preventing unwanted litters and reducing certain health and behavioral risks. A common mistake is delaying the procedure unnecessarily. It's best to spay or neuter your cat before they reach six months of age. The two breeders that I got my cats from fixed them before we adopted them at three months old. Another misconception is believing that a cat should have one litter before you spay them. It's not true and just contributes to the problem of pet overpopulation. The truth is that there are health benefits associated with spaying or neutering, including a reduce of certain types of cancers and the elimination of heat-related behaviors such as yowling and marking territory. Schedule the spaying or neutering procedure at the earliest possible time. Doing this before your cat reaches sexual maturity helps prevent unwanted behaviors and health issues. Educate yourself on the benefits of the procedure. For example, spaying reduces the risk of ovarian and uterine cancers in female cats, while neutering reduces the risk of testicular cancer in males. Both procedures can help mitigate behavioral problems like aggression and roaming. Spaying or neutering your cats contributes to a longer, healthier life and reduces the number of homeless pets. It's a responsible choice that benefits both your cat and the broader community by helping control the pet population. A true win-win. Number two, failing to provide proper hydration. Proper hydration is crucial for a cat's kidney function and overall well-being. Cats are particularly prone to urinary issues, which can be exacerbated by dehydration. One common mistake is assuming that cats get enough water from their food alone. While food, especially wet food, does contribute to hydration, it isn't sufficient on its own. Another mistake is not providing fresh water daily. Cats are more likely to drink water if it is clean and fresh. Additionally, not offering multiple water sources can limit a cat's access to hydration, especially in larger homes or if you have multiple cats. To avoid these issues, make sure you provide fresh, clean water daily. If your cat doesn't like drinking, consider using a cat fountain. Many cats are attracted to the running water and may drink if a fountain is available. Wet food can also be a help with hydration as it has a higher moisture content than dry food. By ensuring your cat stays properly hydrated, you help maintain their kidney function and reduce the risk of urinary issues and therefore helping them remain happy and healthy. Number one, not understanding your cat's body language. Cats primarily communicate through body language so, being able to interpret these signals is essential for building a strong bond with your pet and ensuring their well-being. One common mistake is ignoring the signs of stress or discomfort. Cats may exhibit subtle cues such as dilated pupils, flattening of their ears, or excessive grooming when they're feeling anxious or uneasy. Misinterpreting purring or other behaviors is another pitfall. While purring is often associated with contentment, it can also be an indicator of pain or distress in some cases. Additionally, not paying attention to subtle cues like a tail position or ear movements can lead to misunderstandings of your cat's moods or intentions. Educate yourself on common body language signals exhibited by cats. For example, a relaxed tail typically indicates contentment, while a puffed up tail may signal fear or aggression. Observe your cat's behavior in various situations to better understand their communication style and individual preferences. This can help you to recognize patterns and anticipate their needs more effectively. When you notice specific body language cues from your cat, respond appropriately. Provide comfort and reassurance when your cat appears relaxed and content, and give them space if they seem stressed or agitated. By responding to your cat's body language in a supportive manner, you can strengthen your bond and create a positive relationship based on mutual understanding and trust. Well, there you have it, the top 10 mistakes that every new cat owner makes. Being a responsible, attentive cat owner involves understanding and meeting your cat's needs. 
Educate yourself so that you're better able to see their signs and understand your cats better. By avoiding these common mistakes, you can ensure that your cat remains healthy, happy, and well-adjusted. Remember, just a little effort in learning about and catering to your cat's unique requirements can go a long way in building a stronger, more loving bond with your feline friend. One of the biggest mistakes new cat owners make is in the feeding of their cat. Remember, you are what you eat. Same holds true for your cat. Want to know more? Check out this video and I'll see you there.